Hello everyone, my name is Harold and I am a CFII here at Flying Academy in Van Nuys. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the most common question that people have when they're thinking about starting their flight, flight training. And that question is, what is the difference between part 61 and part 141? So essentially, the main difference is the type of regulations that they follow to train their student pilots. Both part 61 and part 141, they do train to their pilots to meet the same standards. However, there are different requirements for, for each student depending on which um, part they are studying under. So I'm going to go ahead and go through part 61, some pros and cons, and then talk about part 141 and some pros and cons. So part 61 is, is a more flexible way to get your flight training. Um, the scheduling is entirely up to you. You could schedule with an, any a flight instructor and make it based on your own time. Whenever you have free time, you could go up and have a lesson. Some more freedom in, choice, in, in your choice of instructor. You could select any certified flight instructor to be your instructor. They don't have to be associated with any school. As long as they have their instructor's license and it's current, um, they could go ahead and be your instructor. Now because there are, you know, you could pick freelance flight instructors or find schools that have flight instructors, you are more likely to be able to have um, negotiable rates and due to that the prices may, for your training may vary. You might be able to find cheaper aircraft to rent or you might find instructors that are willing to instruct for a cheaper rate and that makes the price is, um, fluctuate a little bit. Now. One of the cons about Part 61 is that per the FAA, there is a higher minimum requirement to get your certification. And due to the nature of Part 61 being flexible and based on your schedule, your flight training might not be as frequent. You might not be training as frequently as you would like to. And because of that, because you're not flying as often and you're not you know, practicing as much as you should be, it might actually take more time than it would if you were flying, you know, like two or three times a week. And that might kind of add up to your total cost. Now for part 141 is a more structured educational environment. To be a part 141 flight school, they do have to have a set syllabus and curriculum, which has to be reviewed by the FAA and approved. And due to this structured environment, it is a less flexible flight training. Um, you're going to have to be scheduled regularly, you're going to have to invest more time in your training and you know you're just going to have to you're just going to have less time for other things. Um, the other bad thing is is due to the fact that the FAA has to prove the syllabus and curriculum you do have less choices with what schools are available to you and sometimes you might not be able to fly out of any, uh, an airport just because there aren't any schools based in that location. Um, the costs can be a little bit costly. The Part 141 schools, they typically have a fixed rate for instructors and aircraft rentals, and they're typically non-negotiable, so it's you don't have much leeway in that aspect. Um, because it is more structured, though, you it's you have what are called pro, uh, stage checks and essentially that help, kind of helps you keep track of like how you're progressing throughout your training and make sure it makes sure that you're not falling behind and make sure you know you're on schedule now choosing between these two different types of you know training it all depends mostly on what you're looking for out of your training if you're looking to fly you know for leisure and for fun and you're just trying to get your private pilot's license you know part 61 might be a better fit for you um, the scheduling is more flexible and you know it, it's based on it, it revolves around when you have free time whereas if you're thinking about you know making this your career and you want to you know fly for the airlines or a charter company or whatnot part 141 might be a better choice they're more strict uh, with you know how often you should train and they have a syllabus and curriculum um, another thing that might influence your decision is you know 
how, how like what is your learning style if you if you're the type of you know learner that needs a more structured environment and you know you need so, so like a syllabus and a layout of what you have to do each day part 141 might be a little bit better whereas if you prefer more freedom and and learning when you're ready to learn on your free time part 61 might be better for you um, we know that decision can be uh, a little bit difficult, so if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we have professionals standing by to answer any questions that you may have. That is all. Uh, we'll see you next time.